Today we're going to talk about the concept of perimeter. All right, let's show you how fun this is. Imagine I'm a race car driver, right? And don't make fun of my car, okay? This is this is a perfectly good car to do a race in, right? It's very fast. It's It's got the bells, it's got the whistles, it's a great race car, okay? <laughs> Stop laughing at it. Okay. <laughs> now imagine this is the race car course that I'm driving on, right? It's going around an oval, it's going around a shape. If I was wondering, how far is it around the track? What's the distance around the shape? Then I would need to know the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around a shape. Wait, wait, wait. What is the perimeter? The perimeter of a shape is the distance around a shape. And it's easy to find. You can find the perimeter of a shape by adding all of the sides. That will tell you what the distance around the shape is. Great! Now let's practice finding the perimeter. Look at this triangle. What is the perimeter of this triangle? Okay, first we need to know how long all of the sides are, then we can figure out the perimeter. With this triangle, all three sides are the same length. So how long are they? Let's pretend we measured it, and each side is 10 centimeters. Now remember, to find the perimeter of a shape, we need to know the distance around the whole shape. So we just add the sides together. What's 10 plus 10 plus 10? That's three tens. What does that equal? Yeah, 30. Awesome, the perimeter of this triangle is 30 centimeters. Remember, CM is an abbreviation for centimeters. 30 centimeters is the perimeter of this triangle. Okay, let's try this one. What is the perimeter of this square? First, we need to know how long all the sides of the square are. Then we can figure out the perimeter of the square. Okay, so this is a square. It has four sides, and all four sides are the same size. Let's pretend we measured it, and each side is one yard. Remember, YD is an abbreviation for the distance of a yard. Each side is one yard. Remember, the perimeter is the distance around a shape, so we'll need to add all of these sides up. Okay, what's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1? Yeah, 4. The perimeter of this square is 4 yards. The perimeter, remember, is the distance around a shape. If you were to go around this entire square, it would be four yards. Okay, this is the final one. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? Well, first we need to know how long all the sides of the rectangle are. Then we can figure out the perimeter. Remember, a rectangle has four sides, and two of the sides are shorter than the other two sides. With this rectangle, let's pretend we measured it at one meter on the short sides and three meters on the longer sides. Okay, remember, to get the perimeter, we have to add all of the sides together, so we're going to be adding four numbers together again. To make it easier, we're going to group the smaller numbers together and then put the larger numbers in our equation. What's 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3? Those are all the sides. What's 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3? Yeah, 8! 
That means the perimeter of this rectangle is 8 meters. Wow, we told you it was going to be fun. Oh, it's such a blast finding the perimeter. The perimeter is so much fun to find. It's like a game. Remember, you can find the perimeter of a shape by adding all of the sides. And the perimeter of a shape is the distance around a shape. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Now you know how to find the perimeter of something. The perimeter is the distance around a shape. I could find the perimeter of this tablet, right? All I would need to do is measure each side and add them together, and I would find the perimeter. But right now, I, I got to find an internet connection. There's no Wi-Fi out here. There's no reason to be in the desert. I need water. It's not. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go... You go ahead and find perimeter. Enjoy. The perimeter is a distance around the shape. Go. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. You are awesome. In the middle of the screen, you can see there's a button you can click to subscribe to our channel. Or you can click one of these two boxes to watch a different video. But don't stop learning now. Go ahead, click.